The European election saw the rise of extremist parties in Austria, Finland and Hungary. In the Netherlands, Gert Walder, leader of the anti-Islam Freedom Party, has said he wants to ban the Koran and now polled a strong second place. In the United Kingdom, the success of two small right-wing parties, UKIP and the BNP, have left a sour taste in the nation's mouth. Nigel Farage is the leader of the UK Independence Party. His party's strongly Eurosceptic stance and anti-immigration policies took them to second place in the Euro election, ahead of the ruling Labour Party. Well, now, in previous elections, you have, of course, been called the BMP in suits. How do you counter the accusations? Look, that we've been in the European Parliament now for 10 years. If anything like that was true, I think you'd know about it by now. And I think the fact that of our 69 candidates in this election, five of them were black and Asian candidates, born all over the world, who've come to this country, taken citizenship, are bringing their children up to be British, I don't think those accusations can ever be made again. However, it is the election of two MEPs from the far-right British National Party that has unsettled the public and the political elite in Britain. BNP leader Nick Griffin describes Islam as a wicked, vicious faith. His manifesto pledges to represent the white, indigenous population of the UK. So just what does the BNP hope to achieve sending members to the European Parliament? We see that Islam is a threat to this country because, uh, you know, our people, white indigenous people, they're not having children. Well, not even at replacement level because everybody is deciding to put themselves first and not their family, not their neighbourhoods, not their communities and not this nation. So as a, an MEP, Nick Griffin will be calling for white people to have more children than Muslims? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. But the, we have to have a serious debate about where we're going in the future in this country. Do we really want to be an Islamic state? Because that's what we're, where we're heading at this moment in time. The Muslim birth rate is a lot, lot higher than the British birth rate. And I don't think you'll find anybody disagreeing with that. Politicians from major government parties across Europe are already seeking to dismiss gains made by smaller right-wing parties as a knee-jerk reaction against mid-term failing governments. However, in light of Europe's history with the right wing, it would be foolish indeed to ignore what could be the first warning signs of the rise of the right once again in Europe. Lauren Booth, Press TV, Central London.